I'm Ben Barbazet, a professor of economics at college and the director of the Contemplative Mind, and co-author of the book that you just talked about. And hi, I'm Mira Vai Bush. I'm a senior fellow at the Center for Contemplative Mind, and um, have until just recently been teaching at the Smith School of Social Work. Thank you for spending some time with our book, and for giving us a chance to talk a little bit about it with you. So what do you think the strongest section of the book is? <laughs> Dan? I would say that the strongest section of the book is the section in which we talk about our own um, experiences with the practices in our in the context in which we've used them. So Mirabai talks about working with social work students. I talk about working with my econ students. And I think it has the most resonance because it's for me the material that I had most familiarity with and kind of intimacy with. Um, and I've I think it's about by reading Mirabai section two. I would say that um, that's a hard question to answer because um, really the book is an integrated whole. <laughs> that um, you, you need to know the practices in order to, obviously, in order to integrate them into your teaching. And we've, we've presented most of the major practices that are being used in the book. But you really need to understand um, the context as well um, in order to um, do it really effectively. And maybe most important, you need to um, attend to your own um, to your own practice and your own contemplative development. That's just one of many chapters in the book, but I know we both think that that is everything else rests on that. Um, and in fact, if you do your practice and and come to understand it and hold it and be it in a, a deeper way, then uh, you'll know it. It will guide you in knowing what to do and integrating it into the course. Is there any section of the book that you struggled with as writers, and why? Why was that? I don't know. Um, it was <laughs> fun to write with Mirabai, so it wasn't that was wasn't like co-authoring can be struggle, but it was really lovely to write with her. So that wasn't a struggle. Maybe that wasn't a struggle, but I guess I felt um, more a sense of burden or a sense of responsibility in writing about like the cautionary parts of the practice and things we so. You know, item parts of this that need to be concerned about or really focus on and thinking about um, bringing these into your classroom. So I felt the kind of sense of responsibility and that kind of heaviness around that. Um, I, I wasn't a struggle in the sense of like not knowing what to say, but more kind of a struggle in the sense of wanted to uh, make sure we were doing right by people. Yeah, I would say largely it wasn't a struggle. We had a really good time, and we met in a very cool coffee shop every week or two and went through all the things that we were putting together. It was pretty joyful doing it. Um, it and we had lots of material to draw from, from the stories and experiences of, of the contemplative practice fellows. So... Um, was a lot of work reading all their um, reports, 150 fellows, and then and then just extracting from them what which of their experiences would be most helpful for people like you. Um, and then knowing things like as soon as we publish the book, our section on research would be out of date. And um, but these days, I don't think people worry that much about it. You know where to go now. Um, to, to find the latest uh, updates on research. 
Um, largely, we did the book because we had all this information and we really wanted to get it out to people. Um, so in that way, it, it wasn't a struggle. It was just a kind of act of service, really. Thank you. So for the last two hours, the workshop participants have been engaging with the book. And so is there anything that you as authors would be curious to know from them? Um, and this will be a reflective writing prompt. So please ask any detailed question you wish. I guess I want to know what what in the book was most helpful for them and uh, what could be more helpful um, in the future. Um, and um, in the, everything from the kind of information that was included to the voice the book was written in to, um, uh, yeah, I, that's what I'm most interested in is uh, what was helpful to people and what could be more helpful in the future. Yeah, I think that that's certainly um, what I would be interested in hearing whatever whatever arises for you, one, uh, but I would be interested in what you see as um, missing, too. You know, like when you, when you look at this, I think that we, you know, as you write anything, if you did it again or did it later? You probably. I, I, I think I would have added some other things in it that we might have added, and would lo love to hear the what you see. You know what isn't there. Um, what would uh, that that you would like to see or know about um, uh, that that might that might be incorporated? Because I think that would help us in our own work and what we offer at the center too. So I think that would be interesting to hear what you would what what you see is. But you don't see. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Because even if we don't do another book, we don't have to really do another book. We would like to continue to, you know, share information um, in other ways on the web, through webinars, through you know, all kinds of electronic ways. So if there really are things that you think would were left out or could could have been done in more depth or were confusing to you. Um, any of that, let us know because um, there are lots of ways in which we can expand the work of the book. Yeah. Certainly. And uh, I'd like to thank you again for this opportunity, <laughs> this digital opportunity, and uh, wish you well. Yeah, thanks for asking. This was fun. Bye. Thank you very much.